So till now we have seen how to calculate the first function of a given sequence of terminals and non-terminals and we have also seen that for if uh, uh, for a given non-terminal t we have two possible productions alpha 1 and alpha 2 and if the first of alpha 1 and first of alpha 2 are disjoint okay then I can always make a decision of which production to select based on the next input token okay so if my next input token is a then we need to select the first production t is equal to alpha 1 and if it is b then I need to select t is equal to alpha 2 understood now what if so what about r okay let us see so for r we have r can be an empty string this implies what r is nullable okay and r is pr okay now so if my current input token is a then can i apply a production corresponding to r is equal to epsilon so so if r is nullable i can always apply the production uh, for r uh, for the given input token a because it can always create an syntax tree without consuming the input token okay but that does not mean that uh, uh, but that does not mean that uh, it will result in the complete derivation okay so we need to we need to sell, uh, we need to decide that if a given non terminal is nullable then whether to choose that nullable uh, production based on some criteria okay so let me uh, write it down in a formal way so we choose a production suppose n as alpha on symbol c okay so my next input symbol is c and i am choosing a production n as alpha if so what is what was the first condition first condition was first of alpha should contain c okay and and uh, what can be uh, if if c does not belongs to first of alpha then then what can be the possibility now we can also still select n is alpha if alpha is nullable okay and the sequence nc so suppose we have a sequence in sequence of after n we are after n we have a sequence nc can occur somewhere in the derivation in the derivation starting from start symbol of the grammar i will explain it I'll explain the second part so so the second part basically tells me whether to select a production of n is equal to alpha if alpha is nullable okay the grammar. so let me give you a small example So, so I can say that suppose n is alpha c, okay. Then I can choose this production for a given input symbol c if I find that alpha is nullable. 
okay that means what and c should precede the alpha okay that means what the c should be should follow c should be the first of the input sequence that follows alpha understood so suppose i say that suppose in a given derivation i say that s is suppose alpha n a b okay then can i select this thing so so her, so basically i uh, i can select this n as alpha c so uh, let us discard this grammar so, so basically i can select n as alpha c if either c belongs to the first of alpha then i am done now if alpha is nullable then we can consume an empty we can create the parse tree by without consuming the input symbol c and the subsequent sequence of terminals and non terminals should begin with this input symbol c okay that means first of so suppose n as alpha beta gamma then either first of alpha should be should be c or if alpha is nullable then first of beta gamma should be c understood so in plain language i can say that if n derives an input sequence then the next input uh, if n derives so let me write it down so my claim is if n derives an empty sequence that means is nullable then the next input c should begin the derivation of the sequence sequence that follows n is the most important part so from here we can infer that we are not uh, actually uh, interested in the production where the left hand side non terminal is n we are interested in those productions okay where in the rhs side n can happen and if n is nullable okay and we can select those productions if n is nullable and my current input symbol is c and the next input c should begin the derivation of the sequence that follows n okay so this this basically demands that we need to create another function called as follow n okay i'll discuss this uh, in the next class